I'm Diego Serrano, and this is News Micro. Firefighters work to stop the Jake fire from spreading any further. With stay-at-home orders somewhat lifted with warmer days arriving, there has been an increase of beachgoers. Beaches that have opened adopted the common theme of active use, a term that basically means if you want to enjoy the beach, it has to be for recreation and exercise and not lounging around. Surfing, swimming, walking, or jogging are allowed, but laying on a towel to read a book or take a nap is not. Still, people were spotted sunbathing and picnicking up the coast, using much less caution than is mandated. It is a delicate balance of trying to allow the ocean and sandy space to remain open for people to distress and exercise, while also trying to keep crowds at bay, especially during warmer days. Department of Public Health Director Barbara Ferrer said that she was aware of people ignoring the order and stated that without everyone complying, it would make the path to reopening difficult. With AMC theaters still closed, another major company decides to step in. Last week, Amazon was ready to make its next big purchase by buying AMC theaters. In early April, AMC had to close down all theaters due to COVID-19, causing a huge loss of money. After all of the closings, sources from Yahoo predicted AMC would be up for sale and filing for bankruptcy. AMC theaters are already not paying rent for their spaces and have cut more than 26,000 employees throughout their company. That's when Amazon stepped in. The company was ready to buy AMC around late April and early May. But as of May 27th, AMC stock has risen 11% in the last day, making them turn from the selling stage right to neutral stage. The share price of AMC has been estimated to change from $1 to $5. With AMC in recovery, they plan to open in July and August, when all the states have started opening up. Soon, we can all go enjoy a movie again. With many colleges and universities still closed, one student decides to still seek hope. Joel de Santiago Espinoza has more. Graduating high school and deciding to go to college is a very important step in life. However, for students entering college this year, their views on the matter have been skewed. Having the remainder of their year be online and having their first experience of higher education makes for an experience no generation has ever had to go through before. Luckily, I was able to interview incoming CSU freshman Jay Lamb to get his thoughts on how schools handled the pandemic. Having my final years of high school and my first year of college being dependent on online classes can be very demoralizing. Being in a state of constant disappointment and dissatisfaction would certainly lead to the demoralization that Jay talks about, especially with no other options to work with. Jay says that going online was actually helpful for some people, but it doesn't go without his criticism about the fairness of taking solely online classes instead of a traditional setting. More students, more time to study and prep, but all the anxiety and stress that came before really do mean nothing now. With no guarantee of what the future holds, all we can do is hope for a brighter future. Thank you for listening. This has been Joel de Santiago. And that's it for your news micro. For Canyons News, I'm Diego Serrano.